Hi year one, got another book for you today. We've got Temper Temper by Norman Silver. Jonathan didn't want to go to sleep. He want, I want to watch more TV, he yelled at his mum. Go to bed right now, said dad. Jonathan plodded upstairs to his bedroom, feeling very cross. Can you see? Hope you none of you do that. Then he heard a knock on the, his window. Knock, knock. A strange creature was looking at him. My name's Temper Temper. I can show you how to get your own way, he said. How? Jonathan asked. I'll show you, Temper Temper said. If you let me in. Do you think it's a good idea to let him in? Mm, not quite sure there. So Jonathan opened the window. As the creature jumped into the room, he seemed to grow larger. Now I'll show you how to tantrum, Temper said. It's a bit ugly, isn't it? He stomped on his feet. He bare his claws. He scowled and howled. It was scary. You try it, Temper Temper said. Can you see? <gasps> oh, do you think it's a good thing to be doing? Mm. Jonathan jiggled on his feet. He whined and he whimpered. He flapped his arms. Is that the worst you can do? Temper Temper asked. Try harder. Put some oomph in it. Get really mad. There we are. So Jonathan stamped his feet. He shook his fists. He raged and he raged. Bravo! Said Tantrum Tantrum. The next night, Jonathan refused to go to bed. I want to watch more TV, he screamed. Go right to your bed right now, said Dad. Temper Temper winked at him. Jonathan thumped his feet. He bashed the cushions. He grumped and he's grizzled. I don't want to go to bed. But Jonathan worked himself into such a frenzy. His dad was worried. He would make himself sick. So Jonathan watched more TV. See, said Temper Temper, you did what I told you and you got to stay up late. There we are. I hope you guys really don't do that. The next day in the library, Jonathan wanted chocolate. Get wild, said Temper Temper. She'll have to give in if you make so much fuss people will be watching so jonathan jumped up and down he pulled nasty faces he bawled and he blustered what's got into you mum said here have the chocolate jonathan had got away with it again and temper temper was delighted can you see temper temper there where is he Oh, I can see him. Can you? That afternoon, Jonathan grabbed his sister's paintbrush. Wait till I finish it! His sister said, temper, temper, prodded Jonathan. Slow tantrum. Why should you go first? Jonathan hammered his feet. He flung his arms all about. He barked and he bellowed. Can you see? His sister was so fed up with Jonathan's temper, she gave him the paintbrush to make him leave her alone. I want it now! You're doing wonderfully well, Temper Temper said. It's easy to get what you want with a temper tantrum. Jonathan's family soon became fed up with his tantrums. 
they had a chat and decided on a plan. The very next night, Jonathan had a, tan had a tantrum when his dad switched off the TV. I want to stay up late! Go for me, Jonathan! Jonathan drowned his feet. He threw himself on the carpet. He raved and he roared, but no one listened. We all love you, Jonathan, said Dad. But you're not going to, we're not going to give in to your temper tantrums anymore. I'm not going to bed, Jonathan screamed. But no one seemed to take any notice of him. Finally, when he thought he might burst, Jonathan ran upstairs to his bedroom. Next afternoon, in the supermarket, Temper Temper saw his chance to get Jonathan angry again. Make your mum buy you an ice cream. Ice cream, ice cream. So Jonathan pounded his feet. He punched the air. He stormed and he thundered. Jonathan's mum ignored the tantrum. She didn't buy an ice cream. Look at that silly boy, said the little girl at checkout. Temper, temper was disappeared. When they got home, he and Jonathan had a huge row. Wimp, you're horrible, Jonathan said. At the weekend, Jonathan's sister invited him to play with a new game. Jonathan's mum and dad joined in too. Jonathan told Temper Tantrum to leave him alone. Can't you see I'm having fun? Jonathan said to him. Maybe he's playing toys and playing a game with his parents. Fantastic. Suddenly, Jonathan's sister got lucky and won. Jonathan was upset about losing. Temper Temper saw his chance. He bit Jonathan's leg to make him really angry. Ow! Jonathan began to have the most ferocious temper of all. He kicked the board off the table. He pushed his sister. He screeched and he screeched until his throat hurt. You see, all the little pieces are and paper money went flying across the room. Jonathan's mum and dad and sister ignored the tantrum. They picked up the pieces and started to have another game. Jonathan ran upstairs in a sulk. Jonathan realised he was fed up with tantrums. He was fed up with Temper Temper too. He turned his back and played with his starship. This made Temper Temper furious. He booted the door. He tipped out Jonathan's clothes from his cupboards and snarled and growled until his face turned purple. Is that the worst you can do? Jonathan asked. Try harder. Put some oomph in it. Get really mad. Temper Temper rampaged until he was ready to burst. But Jonathan just laughed and said, you look really silly. When you're angry. At the sound of Jonathan's laughter, Temper Temper began to shrink. I'm not silly, I'm ferocious, he squealed, shriveling smaller and smaller. I'm telling you what to do, Jonathan said to Temper Temper. Go and find someone else to boss around. Can you see? Let's get smaller and smaller. He's really did he? He opened the window and told Temper Temper to get out. Don't you ever come back, shouted Jonathan. He felt so pleased with himself, he called his mum to read to him. This one, mum, this one. Let's see here. Which story do you want, she asked. The one about the knights killing the dragon replied Jonathan. There we are. And there we are. There's Temper Temper, wandering off. He's got the right hand. That's it for today. Take care.